happening and we've seen every morning down at Eaton Tony, you know, hopes are high and it's safe. So let's just keep the momentum going and fingers crossed that we can indeed get more medals at Pentex. Have a good afternoon. Same to you. Okay, so yeah, it's the final day of rowing down at Eaton Tony and here is what is in store on the water for you. So there's been a lot of talk about whether our men's four can beat the Australians. We will know in about ten minutes' time, goodness me, can win that first goal down the deep for the British men. Can Cam Copeland and Sophie Hoskin have joined the Golden Girls Rowing Club? Walk so high after their strong qualifying round. As that purchase and Mark off their eye to defend their Olympic title on all waters. They'll be in the third final. British interest in these singles. Oh, but what about this for a story? Belarusian Ekaterina Karsten has won a rowing medal at the last five Olympics. At 12.30, she'll be going for her stick. And of course, later on, we'll see Jess Ennis in the sixth of her seven disciplines. She said that the crowd had carried her yesterday. Let's just hope that the support can take that javelin just a little bit further. Jumping well in the long jump. And of course, uh, Andy Murray and Laura Robson will be on centre court at 12 for their mixed double semi final. Of course, Murray takes on Roger Federer in the men's singles final tomorrow. So, first of the Royals finals today is the men's ball. It's the flagship boat, and there have been more twists and turns on their way to the start line than you would find in the average Hollywood movie. At the end of the day, what I keep focusing on is what we do in our boat. It pays off, you know, it's fantastic, and the, obviously the, the risk, the downside is it doesn't, and it'd be terrible. Never been so focused mentally and physically on the water. The crew that I'm rowing in is my entire world. Hopefully there won't be any surprises there, we'll just be able to get out of business. Pretty much four years ago to the day, I was sat in the stands in Beijing, a spare man uh, for the rowing team there. And I'd always said I wanted to be an Olympic gold medalist, but I never knew why until that point. Three of us in the boat can look back to four years ago with first hand experience of just how hard it was. That I never forget how much we had to put into that and um, the ups and downs we had. Sitting in Beijing on the start line, I had a sense of enormous sort of joy, feeling that what we were about to do was not only felt like it was the right thing, I was just I was destined to be there. I was going to make it good. And, you know, Ideally, that's not how I want to be feeling again on the start line. This time, it seems so far to have gone a lot smoother. And, uh, yeah, I think the experience of having done it before, it's useful because you know you've done it and you know you're the sort of character that can sit on the start line, be ready, embrace and win it. So the British now out 260. We're going to get it. We're going to get it. They're going to be the Olympic champions. It is Great Britain from Australia. Gold medal, Great Britain. Wonderfully done. I feel like I've really earned my position over the last three years, um, and I've been a consistent member in the four. Well, the stage is set, so let's leave the Olympic Park here and fly up and out to Eaton Dorney. So we'll go east, and the question is, what does that 2,000 metre drag have in store for the men's four? Well, we've got two bronze and a gold yesterday. And Matt Vincent is down at the start line. This is the start line of the men's courses four, and the rain is teeming down. And to be honest, uh, it's blowing through. The courses four have just fully completed their warm up. You can see they've got uh, waterproof tops on. They'll soon come off. Um, very, very stressful at this stage. They're trying to focus as best they can, trying to summon together all the best positive thoughts they have and think about pouring four years of training into this next season of events. They do at this stage have water bottles in the boat. They'll get thrown back. They won't race for those in the boat.
James Cracknell, uh, first thing this morning, tweeted uh, obviously about the, the weather as well and how much of a major factor that is. And he seems to think, uh, Sir Steve, that the weight in the boys is going to be a major factor as well because the men's, our men's for it are literally heavier than the Aussies. Do you think that's a big factor as well? If the wind comes to quite strong headwind, headwind uh, that would be a factor. For the moment, it's actually quite still. We've just had another bout of rain that's just gone through the start area. You can see it from here, but now it's this sort of glorious sunshine. Actually, there isn't that much wind going around at the moment. The, the flags are uh, dropping, you would say. It's a slight headwind, but not much. So, uh, pretty even there. And, and actually, that's what you want. You want to make sure that the best athletes that win, not the conditions that play the, the, the toll on that. Almost, as you can tell from that, almost a few years. Yeah, the third back. 500, middle thousand, the third 500 was the crucial area. And they just didn't make an impact in it. And that's where, with the race before, even when we won, that's when the Aussies looked at their best and uh, looked very classy. Even in Lucerne, two international regattas ago. At Munich, they just looked classy all the way. It's turned its, turned its tails now, it's the other way around. But uh, it doesn't matter what happens in between Olympic Games. What happens on finals day at Olympic Games is what it's all about. I don't think I've ever seen Andy Hodge actually quite so exuberant and exultant as he is here. And I'm sure that perhaps is a, is a result of the fact that even the slightest amount of doubt might have crept into their mind over the last two or three years that could they retain this title? Oh, no, I, I, I think so. Obviously, the, the hearts were, were set on trying to win the pair uh, coming out of the last games. That's not what they wanted to do. But uh, of, of, uh, after last year of, of being beaten by the Kiwis again in the pair, saying right, we're going back into the we're going back into the boat that we know, we're going back into the boat that we're reigning Olympic champions. They're going to be reigning Olympic champions at least for another four years. Double gold medalists, three of those men as well. Alex Gregory, what a what a thrill! His first Olympic Games, and he's a gold medal. And, uh, Here's the moment where this, this, great is, what, this is what sports about. Is this is, this is the Andrew Flintoff, Brett Lee kind of moment yeah. where you just yeah. say, hey, mate, fair play. Fair play, but we won. And these guys are the winners. Alex, just fantastic, fantastic. Your first Olympic Games. Just just talk, talk us through that race. Come on. It's just, it's just, it was just quiet. It was just simple. It didn't feel real, to be honest. Going off the start, I thought... God, this is it, this is happening. We just did the race. And I was just counting strokes. Counting 30s, 60s, 90s. I don't know why I just ended up doing it that race. Everything felt silent in our boat, and then we were just in a good position. I didn't look across, but I was aware of where we were, and we were up the whole way. I, it just, everyone says it doesn't feel real. It just doesn't feel real. I can't describe anyone like that. Pete, did it, did it again? Yeah. Olympic champion. I can't believe it. You know, you, you run through everything in your mind before the race. You never ever think about afterwards. Um, I let the other guys speak about it. I'm still tired. I can't believe it. Uh, the, the, the hours, the hours we do, the hours, the pain. Uh, it's all worth it. The end. I said four years ago, thank you to the Royal Navy for giving me the chance, but all of us have got people to thank for support. And it comes from all over the place. I can't do it without you. Uh, and I'm, I'm just pleased to have done it. I'll get, talk to the others. Yeah, I'll talk to the others. Tom, 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 Tom. At the 500 metres, you know, it's never over to the table, but at 500 metres, did you think that's it? You've done it. I was trying not to. I was trying to just focus on my own. Because you've got it on your right, and uh, you can't, your peripherals don't go far enough. And you've got to just focus on what you're doing. But I knew when we got off the start, we got into rhythm, it was good. And it was, it was quick, it just felt good, and I felt confident that whatever happened, you know, on our right, I didn't care, it was just our boat. And it was just, it was unbelievable, like, you know, it started raining, the film was blowing, and I was thinking, this, this is for us, this is what we do the whole winter, always shutting down with rain. Tough when it's like, they just, it was, uh, it was our day. And I can't, I can't describe what this atmosphere is like, you know, to people who are at home. It's the old words, it's epic, it's magic, it's emotional, just the crowd is, is phenomenal and it's just so exciting to be here, I'm so proud, I'm taking all of Hodge's words, so, but, anything you want to add to this? Uh, these guys are the best three rowers that we've ever had, they're absolutely phenomenal, what I felt down that row was just impeccable rowing, we executed our plan, it was our masterpiece, four years to make that, four years, training every day, 
pulling out everything we had that I was without question our finest piece. And everything, all the support, immeasurable. This, every person here shouted, every person at home, every person who picks up the floor after training each day, our families, our friends, you cannot imagine. Um, 
and I've got to thank Hester for everything she did to get us here. But I just can't believe it that actually happened. Here's, here's your reaction at the moment of triumph. I'm sure this is the picture that, that you will probably you'll get framed and stuck on and stuck on your bedroom walls, sitting room walls, every wall in your house. It's just a moment of triumph. Great camaraderie as well with their rivals from Greece here who, who were very tight with them at the start of it. Listen, Kat, 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 you, you, are, you are the cat that got the cream, aren't you? Yeah. Um, no, this isn't the Oscars, but I just, can I just say thanks to my mum and dad because we've been through some bumps. I don't know if the old one and me to just roll the time, but thanks. And to James Harris because he's actually really rubbish. So. You're not rubbish now. Believe me, listen, Olympic you're, champions. you're Olympic champions, listen, and, and you've got another 50 interviews to do all the way down here. Many, 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 many congratulations. Listen, let me just let you go, but well done, Sophie and Kat, we'll talk to them later on. But, talking Olymp and Olympic champions, here we go, the men's cops to the sport, and they've done it again. To interrupt your celebrations, fantastic moment for you to have the national anthem play for your husband, Andy. It was wonderful, unbelievable, I'm so excited. Great race and wonderful. Was there ever a moment during the race you thought this isn't going right? Going right? Not going right. Not going right. Uh, no, they were just never leading all the time. So dream start for us. They are reigning Olympic champions. They're reigning world champions. They've performed well so far here. I've just got a little niggle in the back of my mind that uh, they're going to struggle a little bit. I think they'll medal, but I'm worried about the I'm worried about the Danes. But they're gutsy. They could pull this out of this ground. We've had 12 boats in 12 finals. This is well, in many ways, sport is one of the most brutal things that you can put yourself through because there's no middle ground, is there? You win or you lose. The old thing about in the centre court of Wimbledon about treating triumph and disaster just the same, but sometimes it's pretty hard to do that when you've put that much effort in. There's Steve just down on the pontoon at the moment, helping Mark Hunter to his feet. Seems reminiscent of yesterday when Alan Campbell gave everything he'd got and more to be a bronze medalist in the men's single scuff. And Zach Purchase just uncontrollable with tears. And there's Steve's wife and the team doctor down there with him as well. Because uh, in the most unbelievably erudite and uh, intelligent way, the Cox of Sport spoke with such joy about the four years of hard work that has got them gold medals around their neck. For these boys, it's going to be a silver medal. And a silver medal is a monumental achievement nonetheless for two people who've given so much over the last four years. Mark, you know, we have to talk because we have to talk and there's probably nothing, nothing in the world you want to do less than talk about that race, but what are your thoughts now? We gave everything. We tried everything. We wanted to win so badly. Just, sorry to everybody we've let down. Let nobody down. After the year that you guys have had, you have let nobody down at all. So if you don't want to talk about it now, we'll leave it. But can you just tell us what happened at the start? See, just a bit of a problem in the seat. Just care apart. It was fixed. Didn't have any barrier in the race. We had, a, we had the very best race you could. And the crowd here has been absolutely amazing. We've, just, we've really, really, really enjoyed being part of this amazing team. And just, just wish it'd been. I'm going to let you go, but thank you so much for all the help you've given us over the last few years. And, you know, you're still mad at this, guys. You know. Sorry, we're still mad at this. Steve will take them down towards the medal ceremony where they'll receive their silver medals. Emotions, emotions, goodness me. Uh, especially when you know these people, and you know them pretty well. Well, Zach and Mark displaying the most heroic effort. Absolutely extraordinary. Join us. See what happens in the news. We will have continued coverage of Olympics from.